I'm Bexile Lamini from KZN. Uh, the prophecy that the man of God gave me today is 100% true. The first, he said, uh, there is a spirit that is attacking me, the spirit of high blood pressure. So that is true. Those movements, the, the, the pains in, on my feet and also going up uh, along my legs, that is true. How was it affecting you and where did you go in search of help? Uh, I once uh, have this high blood pressure and I used to take the tablets and I came here Charis, and was prayed for. And then I went home. So it means it's trying to come back now. For now I did not go anywhere. That's why I came here straight here, yes. Mama, let's pray against this certain spirit. This spirit can end up developing high blood on you. Huh? Help me today. I don't want to speak many things. I don't want to say. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm saying I saw a spirit that I want to develop and start something like high blood. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, I am. Hear. Because I'm hearing pains on your legs. Yes, of course. Huh? Yeah, it's true. And these pains, sometimes they go up. Yes, that's true. Huh? That's true. And they are making you like sometimes you feel like you can't walk yes are you hearing me yes sir. where is your husband steve host i want to pray for you are you hearing me i saw a case that has been following you huh? yes are you hearing me yes it's like when i look at this man i saw the same problem okay but i also heard about the problem of marriage yes are you hearing me true that you and your husband you're having serious problems yes correct. fighting a lot Correct. Huh? Correct. Fighting too much. And this, Correct. thank God you're still alive. Thank you, that's true. I said I saw death. That's correct. Quite correct. So it's God who saved you. Yes, that's true. Very I true. saw a very abusive man. Very true. Very true. This man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the grace of God took you out. Yes, thank you. So I want to pray for you so that your heart must be healed. Thank you. Are you hearing me? Yes. So now because this heart is affecting your legs. Thank you. So I believe today you'll be free. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. I set you free. And the man of God also spoke about your marriage, the fights that you were having. Tell us what was really happening in your marriage. Hey, it's a fight. It's, it's quite a sick. It's revealed it. It's a great fight. Not even just a fight. Dead fight. As the man of God had said that I, I'm supposed to be dead by now. And that is true. It's only God's grace that saved me. It was an abusive, very abusive marriage. So it's true. How was it affecting you? It was affecting me, as you have seen there, the man of God prayed for my heart to, to be healed, you know. Yeah, because my heart, I was wounded in the spirit, very much wounded in the spirit. And w with regards to your heart, did you go anywhere in search of help? No, I didn't go anywhere. I just came here and just I have come here. And how are you feeling that God has remembered you? Very much happy, I'm very much glad for this to be revealed. And I know I'm healed, I'm delivered. And also my wounded spirit is healed and delivered. Mommy, as, as you said that it is by the grace of the Almighty God that you are alive today. And I believe that there are many women out there who are going through abusive relationships and some, they don't know how to go out. Some, they're still having that wound that the man of God spoke about. What are the words of encouragement that you can say to them? Yeah, it's prayer, it's giving your life to God and pray. And number two, whatever that comes across the way, do not submit to that thing, submit to God. Pray, and also the key is forgiveness. Whatever comes to your life, God requires you to forgive. Just forgive, I have forgiven him. I have nothing, no offense, nothing against him. I have forgiven him. So God also will forgive me and heal me. Thank you. Thank you.